we have seemed to adopt this Western concept, this Western perception that life only comes once, live it to its max. Life only comes once. This is what the West say, don't they? Life only comes once, so live it to its fullest. This is what they say. Sadly, we have adopted this perception and this understanding of life. And today, Muslims have taken this understanding of life. The life that you are living in. This life that you are living in here. This is a temporary life. This is short. This is only for a few moments. This life that you are living in now. This is Darul Fana. This is what? Darul Fana. This is going to end. And this is why the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said to, once came over to Sayyidina Abdullah bin Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma. And he said, Kun fi dunya ka'annaka gharib awa abiru sabir. Oh Abdullah, live in this world as if you are a stranger. This is what this dunya is. As if you are a stranger or if you are a traveler. You know, a traveler, a stranger, when he comes to a place, he doesn't know it. He doesn't know the surroundings. He doesn't know the people. He doesn't know the residents of that place. And likewise, a traveler, he's only there for a short while. He stays there for a short while and then he moves on. This is the example of a believer that the Prophet Wasallam is telling us about. That we are here for only a short while. And we will be moving on. We will be, we will be moving on. We are too deluded. This dunya that we are living in, this is deluded. This is misleading. The dunya is deceptive. You know what the Prophet said about the dunya? This dunya that you want to be a gangster in? The Prophet said, A dunya mal'oona, mal'oonun ma fiha illa bi dhikrillahi wa taqwa Allah. The Prophet said that this dunya. This is mal'oon, this is cursed. The dunya is cursed. The Prophet said this dunya is cursed. And whatever is in the dunya, the contents of the dunya, they are also cursed. You want a big house? And you want to forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You want to forget about the deen? That this big house of yours, this is cursed. You want a beautiful car, don't you? But you don't want to read in your mass. You don't want to act upon the religion of Islam. Then this beautiful car of yours, this is cursed as well. This is cursed because the Prophet has told us, except what? Except the dhikr of Allah and having God fearingness. Except these things. Except the dhikr of Allah. When you read namaz, this is the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you read nawafil, this is the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you need to be always conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the time you are living in. People are indulged in the dunya. They have engrossed themselves so much into the dunya. So much into this materialistic world. That they have forgotten the akhirah. That they have forgotten that they will be leaving this world one day. They have forgotten about this.